Okay, this is uh, Dr. Johnson off camera here with the Orange Coast Laser Vision Center. And I'm going to let John tell his story about his floaters. He has uh, some interesting uh, variations of uh, some of the other stories that have been told before. John, just tell, tell us a little bit about your floaters and sure. how they came about. Um, in May of 2007, I had a post vitreous detachment, and along with that came a Weiss ring floater. Um, again, I had no idea what was going on. All I know was I was seeing this dark thing floating in my eye, and I went to go to a different couple of retinal specialists that were very highly regarded in uh, the Los Angeles area. And uh, the first doctor was just, you know, all he said to me was, well, you know, welcome to your 40s, that's what happens. And I was kind of like, well, okay, but is there anything we can do? He's like, it's just a floater, don't worry about it. And, um, you know, I started doing more research, talking to different eye doctors, they're saying, well, you know what, give it several months and maybe it'll float down below the site of vision. Finally went to another retinal specialist who um, said, you know, you have a Weiss ring, and I goes, I feel your pain, but, you know, there's other things that are more important that the... Uh, I know, uh, retinal community is looking into and, you know, floaters, you know, aren't on the uh, priority list. Now, now, my guess is this didn't sit well with you because I know that these were really bothering you. This was to a point where um, every morning I would wake up and that's the first thing I would see and I was pretty much aware of it 24-7. I mean, every now and then I could try to tune it out, but it was, you know, one of those things where part of me felt like, you know, guilty because, you know, I'm not blind. I see people that you know have it much worse off, and I felt guilty feeling that way. But at the same token, it was driving me crazy. I found that like it was almost as though someone like all day long is just tapping me and tapping me, and I had a much shorter fuse. I would like you know my, my wife said that uh, I definitely wasn't as patient as I had used to be. But part of it, you know, she said it happened once I, I had my floater. So. I was doing every piece of research I could on the internet, looking for any type of answer to, to get rid of these things. People were talking about, you know, herbs and things you could do, drink more water. Um, but, and I, and I tried it all. And it was one of those things where uh, finally I started looking into, you know, there was the vitrectomy, there was a floater only vitrectomy, and, you know, that came with cataracts, which I wasn't really going to try to, you know, make another problem worse. And then I actually came across, as I was doing more about, you know, lasers, I started seeing a lot of your testimonial videos. And, and you did a lot of research on your own. I mean, yeah. you found me on your own. You, I you came in with a, remember, I came in with a, a folder filled with research, studies uh -huh. and everything. And you were very um, open to saying, you know what, ask me any questions. I mean, the, the initial consultation, you know, because remember, when I came here with my wife, and she got to told her story about, you know, how frustrating it was, but she, the first thing she wanted was to make sure that, you know, we were going to, this was going to be a safe procedure. And, uh, you were and your wife was a doctor, by the way. Yeah, she's a dermatologist, and she was, uh, you know, very used to, within, in the medical world, to do a lot of research first. And we had definitely said to each other, we're just going to come here and talk to you, and we're not going to do the procedure that day, because, you know, we're going to, you know, digest it and, and maybe come back in a couple months. And after speaking with you and having you, you know, look at my eye, you said, you know, as you said, it's uh, some low-hanging fruit. And Christy looked at me, she's like, let's do it. And um, literally, I was as nervous as I was, and, and, but I felt, you know, the confidence that you had that this was going to be, you know, kind of a, a normal procedure for what you've been doing. We, uh, we, we were there for about, I don't know, it seemed like an hour and a half to two hours. Yeah, I think so, easily, yeah. And, um... I remember you looking at it and kind of, you know, I remember at a certain point you had kind of hit a certain moment and you're like, boom, there it is. Like we had really, really you know, kind of uh, exploded it. And um, then we finished up, you looked at it, we saw a few more remnants and you said, you know what, let's sit back down for just, you know, a little bit longer. And um, the next, that, that night when we went to a, you know, a hotel because we came down for the weekend and uh, we went to dinner and... I could definitely tell, but at the same token, um, you know, it's dilated. So yeah, it takes several I mean, hours generally to get in a, get a sense. Right, and the next morning was the big thing because, like, you know, my wife likes to open up the, the shades in the morning and the sunlight comes in, and that's when I see my floaters more than ever. And I opened up my eye, I'm like, wow, I can't believe this. I don't see the white ring anymore. Um, I saw a couple little remnants on the outside, which we're going to look at today and maybe wrap that up. Yep. But it was one of those things where compared to where... We started, it was like well well over 90%, 95% improvement to a point where I was even hesitant to come today to even try to fix it because this is something I can, I can live with. I mean, this is something where I think most people probably have this. I'm a little bit more aware of it only because of what I've been through for the last nine months. But, um, you know, I came to you today to say, 
why don't you take a look at it if you think you can do something sure. about and it? Sure, and if we can, we can get in, we can. If we can't, but we, we can. can. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely, um, this entire weekend, my wife said, I've noticed a complete difference in your personality. You're not swearing as much. You're, you seem happier. You're not covering your eye up all right, the time. And right. which, which shows that this is really a treatment, not just for the floater, not just for visual acuity, but it's really, you know, it's quality of vision. But I think you'll concur, and I think your wife will concur. It's yeah. a quality of life issue, not, not yeah. just for you, but for her. It's a quality of life Absolutely. issue. Absolutely. Yeah, she's in the room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's, she's watching. Laughing, but, um, <laughs> but it really was. It was one of those things where, again, it's a combination of you. You feel frustrated because mm -hmm. a you feel frustrated that there's nothing you can do about this, and mm -hmm. you're looking on the internet, and all the research says just live with it. And, you know, there's several doctors out there that you know. I even went to an optometrist and. She, I, I mentioned that I was really coming close to maybe doing this, this laser procedure, and she even said, kind of gave me that hesitation, and, and I just kind of realized that, you know, she doesn't have a floater. So, I mean, until that happens to you, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, I, I strongly recommend that, you know, you, you do the due diligence, and that you, you come in, and at the very least, and one thing I, I really thought was important was the integrity that you had to say, listen, I'm going to look at this, and if I'm not comfortable, I, you know, you said you've turned people, you know, away before. Yeah, and this month I've had several, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Disappointing for me, of course, as well. But it's, it's but, what but to that do. to me was the most important thing. That was important to my wife because you know, she, we never felt like you were saying let's just try it. You were like, no, no, I know you, the confidence you instilled was why we did it that day. Yeah, and and you know. I have your video superimposed mm -hmm. now, and, and so people can kind of see what's, what's happening with the treatment. That was a very, very distinct floater. It's what I call a photogenic one. It shows up very nice on video. And so that's why you know, you're a superstar, not just in how the results came about, but because the video shows well, you know, you're very articulate, you tell a nice story. But I think your story is going to resonate with people who have a very similar story that they're living through. And they're watching this, and, and hopefully some of the optometrists and ophthalmologists hopefully are, are watching this. Um, and so what, you know, what in a nutshell, what can you say to these people who are, like you say, doing their due diligence? They're researching this. They're trying. They're standing on the precipice, trying to decide: Do I go forth with something that uh, my trusted eye doctor has said doesn't even exist? Um, you know, what can you say to these people um, with the results that you've had? I can say I had gone to what was called the best of the best retinal specialists, and they basically told me nothing could be done. I sit here today with a uh, Weiss ring floater that is no longer there. I will be honest that are there little remnants on the outside? Yes. Is this a hundred percent? No, this is not a vitrectomy, but quality of life is significantly better. I can actually, if nothing else is done today, I'm a happy guy. And I can actually say that I've, for the first time in nine months, this has happened about nine months ago, I feel a lot more at ease. This was something that, you know, you don't, as frustrated as you feel, it's worth trying. I mean, know that it's not for every single person, True. but the fact that you have this, you know, the one thing that I felt was, wow, there's an opportunity. That, there's someone here telling me that it's not impossible. And that was my biggest frustration, saying, you know, this day and age when, you know, they can do a lot of medical things and you can't get her a lousy floater, mm -hmm. at least try. And that was where I felt like, you know, telling the, um, optometrists of the world like you know this is something that is bothering more people than none I actually have a habit of just speaking about how I feel to everybody I, I mean I can be with strangers and say oh I have a floater and just, I, somehow that gets, sneaks its way into the conversation mm -hmm. and more often than not I found that several of my friends have them have never mentioned it and all of a sudden they're like oh I have that too and um, I, I would rather not say this individual's name but a very famous boxer that I've, uh, I've talked to had um, a, a floater and just, you know, it was one of those things where they just got used to it. And I think that, you know, as I've learned that people have gotten, you can get hit in the head, you might have, uh, you know, nearsightedness, it happens more in your 40s as you get older. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's so common, and yet so many people have just gotten used to being told nothing can be done, so they stop their research. They don't look on the internet. Exactly, and, and I think there's many, many people who have had these, not just for nine months, but I've talked to people literally 10 years, 15 years who've had these floaters, and they just happen to stumble across my website. But I know there's many, many people who are just enduring them, just living with them, and haven't even been given that opportunity to, to even make a, yeah. a, a choice or decision. So I hope that uh, as you get used to not having a floater, that you'll continue to be an evangelist for me and keep talking about floaters. Absolutely. That, that helps, and, uh, it helps you, it helps me, it helps uh, the patients out there who uh, can potentially be helped by this. Yeah, and listen, go check it out. You never know what's going to happen, but I'm telling you, I had it. 
it was the most frustrating thing, and I can tell you, it's not there anymore. That's a good feeling. 